He says, the Quran says we should judge by the scriptures, but the scriptures say to worship. I think he meant God alone, but it just says worship alone. But the scriptures say to worship God alone. Who follows most of your Bible, you or us? So he's saying our Bible says answer. worship God alone. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Just just, uh, just 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 recap that recap that a little. So so Sam, j just correct me if I'm wrong. But was Jesus yes. worshipped shortly after his birth, multiple times yes. during his ministry? Yes. After his resurrection, but before his Absolutely. ascension, and yes. after his ascension, without Jesus ever saying, "Guys, what are you doing worshiping me?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me give the references again. When he was right, when he was around two years old. Go to Matthew chapter two, read two, verse two, verse eight, and verse 11. Matthew two, verse two, verse eight, verse 11, specifically verse 11. The wise men found the child and his mother in the home and they worshiped him. And even the gifts they gave him signify that he's God in the flesh. Throughout his ministry, I gave you one, Matthew 14, 33, where the disciples worshiped him saying, truly you are the son of God. Other places, you can go to John 9, 35 to 38. John 9, 35 to 38, folks. There it says the blind man, when Jesus said to him, do you believe in the son of man? He goes, who is he Lord that I might believe? He goes, he who is talking to you, it is him. He goes, I believe Lord and worshiped him without a word of rebuke from Jesus. Now, what about after his resurrection? Matthew 28 verse nine, Matthew 28, 17. Matthew 28 verse nine, Matthew 28, 17, a group of women clasped his feet and worshiped him. And then when the disciples saw him alive, risen, glorified, they worshiped him. And the greatest display of worship, John 20, 28, a week after his resurrection. John 20, 28, when Thomas saw the resurrected Lord of glory in his glorified physical body, he answered and said to him, my Lord and my God. And Jesus says in 29, Thomas, you have seen and believed? He didn't say, Thomas, shut up. What's wrong with you? Where's your God alone? Mm -hmm. Blessed are those who do not see and believe. Mm -hmm. You got it. Now, uh, uh, Sam, uh, because I still have the verse, the passage here up on the screen. So let's recap here. So what happened in Revelation 22 when John tried to worship an angel? <clears throat> the angel rebuked him saying, do not do that. I am a fellow servant with you and your brothers, the prophets, hold to the testimony of Christ. Worship God rebuked them what what happened when uh when people tried to worship the apostle paul because of the miracles he was performing he ran out and rent his clothes that's acts 14 you can read verses 8 to 18 specifically 14 and 15 rent his clothes he goes men we're we're just men of like nature don't do this uh-huh so to to someone who is uh is focused on preserving the true worship of god alone that's a pretty natural reaction. If, if someone starts worshiping you, hey, stop worshiping me. If someone started worshiping you or worshiping me, that would be our first, whoa, stop that. What in the world are you doing? Exactly. And yet Jesus was worshiped over and over and over again and never bothers to say, guys, what are you doing? You know, I'm just a human prophet of Islam, never crosses his mind. And so, Abdul Rahman, you just need to put this stuff together. You understand, wait a minute, we're only supposed to worship God. Then get to and then get your mind around the fact that Jesus is worshipped over and over and over and over and over again. The same way that the fathers worship yeah. by every created thing in existence. Mm -hmm. It's not relative worship. And that's why Jesus says in John 5 23, Abdul Rahman, that all may honor the Son just as they honor the Father. Mm -hmm. He who does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. Which by the way backfires against you, because you're trying to say, We follow the Bible closer than you. No, you don't. Because Jesus said, the God you worship is the Father, and Jesus is the Son of the Father, is one with Him in essence, mm -hmm. all of which you reject. Allah is mm -hmm. not the Father, Jesus is not the Son, and therefore, the God that you're supposed to worship according to the Bible is not Allah of the Quran. Mm -hmm. So how are you saying you follow the book closer than we do? Mm -hmm. It doesn't work.